Good, Good morning. morning. So we had a restful night on a very smooth sailing through the inside passage. And we're out here at, what is it, about seven o'clock in the morning, looking at all the beautiful scenery, all the islands and everything around us as we sail along. Hopefully we'll get to spot some wildlife today. Uh, we talked to some folks earlier that saw uh, some whale spouts last night. Right after uh, we right left. Right after we of left, of course. Uh, so hopefully we're gonna see something. At least it's not raining today. It was raining last night while we were out here. So we just decided to move along. Yeah. All right, let's see what we can get into. been watching the uh, scenery go by here in the inside passage haven't seen any wildlife not that we can really spot at the moment but we're gonna keep looking it got really cold out there so we went and changed or added more layers where it goes hat and gloves and yeah <laughs> the wind was whipping we got cold so we got some coffee and tea sure. yes to, to kind of warm up a little bit and I think we're gonna Go and check out some pickleball. Yeah. Here in it's with you. Oh yeah. It definitely gets cold. Layers. Yes. For sure. I have not been doing very well with uh, keeping warm in layers. I'm like, oh, you know, it's almost 50 degrees. That's fine. I got a sweatshirt. I got a hoodie. You know, zip up, and I'm getting out. <laughs> yeah, but you get out there on deck. Winds whipping, and yeah, you'll feel it. Right. People don't tell you that stuff. But, Yes. <laughs> yeah, layers. It works. But having of course, fun. I've seen people out there in shorts, t-shirts, and foot flops. Gotcha. But they, do it. they don't last very long either. I mean, I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't know. I mean, we were out there 30, 45 minutes, and yeah, after that point, you start starts to set in the chill does. It took five minutes, and I went back to the room. <laughs> All right. See what else we can find. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to lunchtime. Yep. We decided to eat in the main dining room today. And we just kind of been running around doing a few different things today. Lori uh, did a um, an art class. It was like a introduction to calligraphy or something like that. Uh, I caught about half of the uh, wildlife and where to spot them uh, presentation in the world stage, but I had a really bad seat, so it was packed. I mean, for an educational lecture or whatever about how to spot wildlife, they had that world theater pretty packed out. Kind of like an early lunch, not. Not too early, but uh, we got afternoon tea. We got afternoon tea in about three hours. You know who's excited half hours. about that? <laughs> what was that? You know who's excited about that? And that's what again? Peaches, prosciutto, and mint. Okay. This is an almond crusted chicken tender with a honey mustard sauce. Looks pretty good. So what do you think? Prosciutto, peaches. Mint. With like an agave and, syrup. An agave so syrup. So I was very skeptical because I I couldn't imagine putting all of that, those things together, but that's why I ordered it. Because I knew either A, it's going to look really good, and it did, and B, it's going to taste very different than anything I've ever had. Let me tell you what, it was very refreshing. There was so many flavors that that exploded in my on my palate uh the mint and the uh, um the, the peaches it, it, the, the peach is like kind of sweet and the prosciutto is kind of salty and the mint just kind of evened it all out and there was just that little 
syrup. That's why I almost didn't get it because I thought it was going to be too sweet with like that syrup. Very good. I give this a 10 out of 10. And mine was uh, the almond crusted chicken tenders. Now the tenders were very tender. Uh, cut them with a fork, no problem. Um, the almond crust mm, didn't really get that much almond out of it. The um, honey mustard sauce was okay, but it was just a honey mustard sauce. It didn't have anything particularly special about it, but it was good. Just not uh, spectacular, I guess. So that's grilled swordfish. It's grilled swordfish, and I don't remember anything else about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the one that had succotash or something. Oh, ratatouille. Uh, Ratatouille. 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 And okay. tomato. Alright. And this is supposed to be a cordon bleu burger. Looks a little bit unusual, but like some kind of crusted burger. That looks like some kind of apple slaw. And a little bag basket of fries. They tried to give me the mango tart, which I almost ordered but I'm all about the chocolate. <laughs> so I got this. I don't know what it's gonna taste like. Let's see. Is it, ooh, I hope it's not pudding. I don't like pudding. Ooh, it's very weird consistency. Look at that. Is it pudding? It tastes like a hard pudding. No, it's kind of like the same okay. thing I had yesterday. I mean, it's sugar. Who doesn't like sugar? Let me see if I get down deeper. No, it's about the, about the same. It's hard. It's weird. Like putting this has been set out to dry too long. Yeah. This is the pineapple sundae, which is a pineapple sundae. So that was not pudding. I don't know what it was still. It was hard and it was, um, I don't want to say the wrong thing. It was it, firm. It was, okay, it's yeah. firm. It's kind of like moist, okay. It was, it was firm and it was like in, in layers. And I, the second best dessert that I had, the first one was that peanut butter pie. I've never had anything like that. I don't know how they did it that way, but it was very, very good. And uh, maybe the white was like a vanilla something or other, but. Then you had dark chocolate and regular milk chocolate. It was it was really good. And as depicted in this photo right here, when we reach Marjorie Glacier, one of the park rangers will be present on the bow, ready for any questions anyone has. And when you're in front of Marjorie Glacier, keep an eye out for one of my all-time favorite birds, the Arctic Tern. Now these remarkable birds right here undertake one of the longest migrations of any creature on our entire planet because every year, Arctic terms embark on a pole-to-pole -pole journey covering a round trip distance of more than 22,000 miles. So we've made it to afternoon tea, and this is our first time, obviously, on Holland American, our first afternoon tea. We have a regular uh, premium black tea, which they've given us, and also a three-tier, um, scones and sandwiches and pastries and stuff that's supposed to fare well with your tea. So here we go. So on my very first cruise, a carnival cruise back in 2007, they actually had afternoon tea. And that was my first time ever having afternoon tea was on that ship. And since Laurie and I have gotten into cruising, nobody's ever had afternoon tea. So coming to Holland America for the first time, we were pretty pleased to see that they had afternoon tea. I'm not sure how to share with them, so it's a butter knife, but I mean, <laughs> do you want me to like... Yeah, I guess you can just cut it in, cut half. It in half. That's a bay shrimp on brioche. It's a bay Dutch cocktail brioche. sauce with that. Next up, we have a smoked salmon on a wheat bread. Curry chicken. And egg salad. Hey, and egg salad. And then we'll go to the desserts after. <laughs> okay, so out of all of those sandwiches, 
The one that I liked the best was actually the chicken curry, coronation chicken. I don't like curry. I don't like cilantro. But that had the most amount of flavor. It was very, very good. Yeah. How about for you? I agree. Um, the smoked salmon was not bad. I mean, it wasn't fishy. I don't particularly like salmon, but... Neither of us eat salmon, bad. but we ate that salmon. It was pretty good. It looks like... It's like a... Like a scone. Yeah, it's got jam and raisin and whipped cream inside. The Dutch butter cook cake, that's what you said, right? Almond slice? Yeah, uh, that's what I think it is. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Ooh. This is the apple tartlet. That is very messy. This is a Split. bar. I think the lemon, I think it's a lemon bar. One for you, one for me. Oh, it's like filled with something. And this one might be hard to Street cut too. My massacred, massacred tea service. Yeah. <laughs> So we've been looking at all the scenery here on the Inside Passage today. Hope you guys have enjoyed the footage, but it's time to go to dinner. So here we go. Okay, well guys, I'm ready. I'm ready to see some whales jumping. Tonight, we have a really cool table at the very back of the ship. So we're overlooking uh, like the fan tail and we can see the wake of the ship uh, directly out the window next to us. Pretty cool. And one thing about the Anytime Dining is you can come anytime, don't need a reservation and we get seated pretty much right away. It's been pretty cool. Yeah, it's been pretty fast. Yeah. The one disadvantage to having the anytime seating and getting a different table every night is the fact that you don't get to know your wait staff. That's something that we really enjoyed on Icon. We really enjoyed it when we were on Odyssey of the Seas. Uh, is the fact that over the course of the week, you get to know your waiter, you get to know your assistant waiter. They get to know you. Some, they get to know you, get to know your preferences. Half the time they know what you're gonna order before you even place your order. They're that good. Um, you don't get that same experience when you have any time dining because you're with someone new every night. Bad travel vlogger. This Bad is travel vlogger eating your food without taking pictures of it. Sorry. <laughs> it was just me. No. But at least I've got most of it left over so you can see it. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> Okay, that won't go back on there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you guys didn't get to see the shrimp cocktail, but uh, I will say it was very good. And there was a um, aioli sauce that was made with cilantro. So I was afraid I would like it because cilantro tastes like so to me. Not really good. And I didn't taste any cilantro. However, my my rating is a 9.5 and the reason why it's getting the 0.5 knocked off is because the melon that was served with it was not as ripe as it should have been i'd give it a seven really i mean i don't want fruit in my shrimp cocktail because like you don't eat melon i don't eat melon that's well, right. i'll eat watermelon but not honeydew or cantaloupe so and there's my Caesar salad. 
with actual anchovies. What can you say about a Caesar salad? Not a whole lot. I mean, if they made the, the dressing fresh at the table and smash the anchovies and all that kind of stuff in them, I'd be a little bit more impressed with uh, oh that. But I've had a Caesar salad like that before, where they made the dressing fresh at the table. Yeah, that would be impressive, but they didn't. Offered and delivered uh, a little thing of anchovies, so I guess you could smash them up yourself and add it to your salad, which I wasn't about to do. So anyway, it's a good. It was a good Caesar salad. No complaints about it. Black forest cake with supposed to have some cherry something, so that's got to be in the cake. Yeah. Uh, and no sugar added. So we'll see how that tastes. I've been waiting a long time for it. So hopefully, it's worth the wait. Nope. Yeah, I hope so. I have uh, creme brulee. So what's the verdict? No sugar added. It's not very good. Not very good. <laughs> It has a really good flavor to it. Okay, so here, you try. I got no complaints about that. I'm gonna try Laurie's uh, Black Forest, uh, no sugar in it, Black Forest cake. Bad. I mean, for a no sugar added dessert. So, it's, uh, let's recap night two dinner in the dining room. Yes. On Holland America's New Amsterdam. The service just was subpar. Not only was it slow, and sometimes they can't help that. Right. But, you know, because they can only serve it as fast as it comes out. And maybe they're overworked because they certainly were not Johnny on the spot attentive to our table. And it wasn't like they were standing around doing nothing. Yeah, and, and it wasn't, but still refilling the drinks at the table. You know, I had unsweet tea. I, they give you fairly small glasses on all in America. I had to request one refill of it, and was then I never got anything else. And I did feel um, forgotten in the corner. And how long? It's taken it... a long time for them to serve the next course. It took them a long time to clear the previous service. Yes. Um, and you said earlier that we were they, never asked they did about not tea. yeah they did not come to the table between courses or even to really check in that much when it came time for dessert we asked for coffee and tea yeah, just a nice little thing that you like to do on a cruise ship i do at least yeah we um, left they never came we yeah. were done with our dessert we, we finished our dessert away. and we still didn't have our coffee and tea so we just walked away so Make Although a long I... story short, it was a, a bit disappointing. Mm -hmm. we, we've had such good service. Everything has been um, great so far. Yeah. Through the rest of the night, I think there's some music venues or doing some special things. We've got uh, some kind of dance show. Yeah, that's starting. In the World Theater. In 10 minutes. That starts at 9. Oh, Eight it's minutes. almost 9. <laughs> Jeez, we've been and we in, gain an hour tonight too. So we've been in that in that main dining room for almost two hours. Mm -hmm. No wonder we're so frustrated. Well, we're back in the room. We are. We just finished watching uh, Step One Dance Company's presentation of Humanity. It was an it was different. Show. Yeah, yeah, it was different. The dancers were very good. Yes. The show was okay. Yeah, it's not, yeah, a, I mean, not my thing anyway. Yeah, not really my thing either. They were really good. They were really good. You can yeah. tell they love what they do. Yep. Um, so just because it wasn't our thing does not mean <laughs> that it's not good or you guys shouldn't see it. That's for so. sure. But that just kind of wrapped it up for us tonight. I mean, we caught the last show and it's almost 10 o'clock. We've got a uh, time wait, wait, change wait, wait, tonight. Hold on. In the famous words of Corey Bryson, I don't mean to be a fuddy-duddy, but I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Got an early port day tomorrow. We uh, we get into Ketchikan at 6.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. 
and we're only there till 2.30, so we got to get up, get moving, get out yeah. and see everything we can see in Ketchikan, yeah. because we've got the Lumberjack Show and the town to see. Yes. So. Yes, and we're going to take you along with us. We are. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe for us. It's free. It sure is. Doesn't hurt anyone. Until next time, guys, from peaks to tides. See you on the next ride. Bye, guys.